Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, we're going to get rid of muffling like this. You got to work on this a little bit more or, or this looks good. This does not. And here's why. And we're going to make it sound like this. You got to work on this a little bit more or, or this looks good. This does not. So here we are in Adobe Audition and... You know, people that I, that I regularly ask feedback of... Rather muffled, mm, a little bit of reverb going on there from the room it's recorded but in. But of those, you know, there's there's a couple that I know that will just tell me straight up that, you know... Very low-end focused, very... just not the best. So let's enhance the quality of this. Let's actually copy this into a new file so we can play with it. And I'm going to go ahead and, first of all, break open, filter and EQ parametric equalizer. And the first thing I'm going to do with this is add a high pass filter, removing any of that low end. Let's try now. You know, people that I, that I regularly ask feedback of, but of those, you know, there's, there's a couple that I know that will just. All right. So instantly we're removing that muffled, that bassy, that low end sound just by adding in the high pass filter and pushing it up above around 164 Hertz here. Let's switch off. You know, people that I, that I regularly ask feedback of. And then on you know, people that I, that I regularly ask feedback of. And the next thing we'll do is we'll enhance the high end by changing this icon here and pushing the high end up. You know, people that I, that I regularly ask feedback of, but of those, you know, there's, there's a couple that I know that will just tell me straight up that, you know. Now we can still hear that kind of reverby sound, that kind of echo sound that's going on there. So this is where we can now notch up point three make the cue width 16 and scan through for some of those boxy muffled sounds. You know, people that I that I regularly ask feedback of, but of those, you know, there's there's a couple that I know that will just tell me straight up that, you know. Right there, we got a boxy sound that we can pull right out. You know, people that I that I regularly ask feedback of. Let's do that with point number four. Again, changing the Q width to 16 here, scanning through. You know, people that I that I regularly ask feedback of, but of those, you know, there's there's a couple that I know that will just tell me straight up that there's a boxy sound and we'll remove it like that you know people that i that i regularly ask feedback of but of those you know there's there's a couple okay that we're I gonna know add we'll also a low pass filter onto the top here as we can see a lot of stuff above around ten thousand or twelve thousand hertz not happening at all so let's pull this down let's change this a little bit so it's a tighter drop off and bring that in there will just tell me straight up that you know hey this you got to work on this a little bit more or or this looks good this does not and here's why and those kind of opinions are are really valuable and if there we go okay fantastic let's move that four down we'll again just tell me straight up that you know hey this and already sounding a lot better we've removed that muffled sound let's remember what we started with you know people that are that i regularly ask feedback of and then what we've got now after a little bit of parametric eq you know people that are that i regularly ask feedback of now we're going to normalize it to make it louder. Favorites normalize to minus 0.1 dB. You know, people that I, that I regularly ask feedback of. And then finally, to really eliminate that reverb that's still occurring in the room, we'll go into effects and we'll look for noise reduction restoration, de-reverb. And this is simply a 0 to 100% slider. Let's push it up. We don't want to go too high. We risk degrading the quality of the speech. So let's see what happens here. You know, people that I that I regularly ask feedback. Okay, that's really degrading the quality of the speech. So let's go up to maybe forty percent maximum. You know, people that I that I regularly ask feedback of, but of those, you know, there's there's a couple that I know. Thirty percent is good. Apply it, and then we'll remind ourselves we started with something like this. You got to work on this a little bit more, or or this looks good. This does not, and here's why. And and then we'll go over to the after. You got to work on this a little bit more, or or this looks good. This does not, and here's why. So there you go. Just a few simple steps to remove muffled sound on speech and background reverb.